again to another Muhammad Talks video. Today, we're going to be doing one of the most requested videos in a long time. It's English Courses with Muhammad Talks for School. Today, we'll be starting off with second year English courses because they're pretty much requested everywhere on my social media and you guys really want them and I want to help you guys. So let's get into it. Today, we'll be doing Sequence 1, Lesson 1. What is Sequence 1, Lesson 1 about? It's about me, my friends, and my family. But what are we going to be doing with me, my friends, and my family? We're going to be describing each other. What does describing mean? Describing means just putting detail to something. For instance, let's just get an idea about describing someone. Take Tom here. Tom is very tall. He's skinny. You should eat more, Tom. And he has orange hair and green eyes. He also has a big mouth. So, what did we use to describe Tom? We described him saying that he was tall and skinny for his build and his height. We said that he had orange hair and green eyes to describe the color of his hair and his eyes. And we also described his big mouth. Tom is 12 years old and he also loves studying. Let's take another task. Say page 11 on your books. Open up your books to page 11 and let's do the task together. Come on. This task says that we must put every sentence with its correct picture. Picture one. Small slanted black eyes. Let's look for the small eyes. We found them. Are they slanted? Yes, they are. And are they black eyes? Correct. Small slanted black eyes, which is sentence number one, goes to image I. Two, big blue eye. A big blue eye is picture J. Three, big green eye. A big green eye is right after J and it's K. Big green eye. Four, small nose. Small nose goes with picture number C because his nose is very, very small. Number five. Big nose. That goes to image B. Number six. Short, straight, black hair. That's picture A. Let's go to number seven. Long, straight, black hair. That is picture M. Number eight. Long, wavy, black hair. That is picture G. Number nine, big, frizzy, black hair. That is picture L. Number ten, long, curly, black hair. That is picture E. Number eleven, hand and Fingers. That is picture H. Number 12. Ears. That is picture N. Number 13. Big mouth with red lips. That is picture D. 14. Bald head. That means he has no hair. Picture F. Great! Now that we've done the task, let's speak about it for a second. In this task, 
we've seen how we can describe other people in many, many different ways. So let's go ahead and try and describe those people in other ways. We could say that they are fat. We could say that they are slim. We could say that they are skinny. We could say that they have black hair, brown hair, orange hair, blonde hair, fair hair, curly hair, big frizzy hair, and wavy hair. We can say that they have curved noses. We can say that they have long noses, small noses, big noses. We can say that they have big eyes, small eyes, slanted eyes. We can say that they have blue, green, yellow, red eyes. We can say that they have big mouths or small mouths with red, violet, purple, pink lips. We can say that they are tall. We can say that they are short. We can say that they are average sized. We can describe people in many, many different ways. But what are the verbs to, to use when we describe someone? Let's go to part two. So now we have a different idea. We always said he is tall or short. He has black hair or he has a big nose. What's the difference? We can't say he has tall and skinny because nobody has an adjective. An adjective is what we use to describe something. So what can we say? What's the correct sentence? He has tall or he is tall? You're correct. It's he is tall. Good job. And if you guessed the top one, you need to rethink and try it again. So, why do we use he is for something like tall or something like big? And why do we use he has for something like black hair or big nose or small mouth? Because we have a small nose, but we are not that small nose. يعني إحنا عندنا أنف صغير ولكن لسنا الأنف الصغير. And when we say he is tall, نحن ذو قامة طويلة ولكن ليست عندنا قامة طويلة لا نملك هذا الشيء. So practically, we use it to describe someone who has something or is something. Let's take another task. Let's describe someone, a friend or a family member or someone you know, and see how they look like. I'm, the, I'm going to describe my friend Tom here. Tom is 12 years old. He lives in Algeria. Tom is very tall and strong. He's very, very slim too. He also has orange hair, green eyes, a small curled nose, a curved nose, and a big mouth. Tom likes to play sports, and he enjoys describing his friends. He says his friends call him very generous, but he doesn't know about that. I say that Tom is a very gorgeous person. Now that we've done the task, it's time for you guys to go do the tasks. Check the link in the description to go to videos with tasks about sequence one, lesson one. I describe myself. I physically describe myself. Time to go. Bye.